Do you want to know how to renumber and weather your cabooses? Why don't you stick around and watch this segment and see how we did on my in-scale model rare to say her secondary. Hello everyone, Joe from Central Jersey Conrail and InScale, and welcome back to the paint shop. This time, we we're working on caboose. Cabise? Uh, we'll just call them hacks. I like that term. So, I got a bunch of uh, Conrail hacks that um, they, I, they need some work. I have a couple Penn Central cabooses that um, have the old Penn Central logos on it that I want to strip off and I want to convert them over to Conrail. Also, I have another N21 class that's a duplicate number that I need to change. So, I figured I'd throw it all in one big video for you, teach you a little bit as we go, and uh, have a little fun. So, why don't you sit back and watch the video, and uh, I'll talk to you on the back side. Okay, so these are the three cabooses we're going to work on. Um, as you can see, we have the three, three different examples here. We have the N21 class, we have the NE6 class, and we have the N5B class. So, these two... Um, I bought out of a lot. They were in Penn Central colors, so what I want to do is I want to change them over to more of a Conrail scheme. So I'm going to go with the uh, the early patch out where we remove this here, and we just put Conrail in its place. Leave the same car number because the the number here designates to the class that uh, Conrail renumbered them into. Um, the N5B class, a little more extensive. What we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, the Penn Central logo here and here. I'm going to leave this stripe. Uh, I don't want to repaint this car if I don't have to. We're going to remove the reporting mark as well, leave the same number. Conrail, all they did is they didn't put reporting marks on their cabooses. All they did was put the word Conrail, as you can see here from this example, the N21 class. So all I'm planning on doing is putting Conrail here, and I'm going to change this number to a restricted number. I'm going to put an R here. Um, and that a lot of the NE... Uh, Excuse me. A lot of the N5B class, they started restricting to uh, service either on the system or for main, uh, maintenance away because of their build dates. These were actually built in 1941. They were some of the oldest cabooses that they got from Penn Central. So we're going to restrict this number, change this out. Now my N21 class, this is the only Conrail caboose, they say. Uh, that was the first and last order that Conrail put for cabooses was the N21 class. So I want to definitely, I, this is a second uh, example I have of this, so I want to scrub off the quality logo and I want to remove the numbers here because I want to change it so that I don't have duplicate numbers. Okay, so that is the plan. We're going to get started using our toothpaste method that we used on the, uh, the boxcars and uh, we'll take it from there. All right. Okay, so um, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go after the N4. Any six class, um, pretty straightforward. Gotta remember to try try not to hold the ends of the caboose. I don't want to bend all the handrails and stuff. It's coming off, it's just taking a little time. Having some trouble getting in these little crevices, so I'm gonna come in here with my rainbow skewer and see what I can do. Try not to go too deep with this thing because I rem I learned from the uh, Conrail reefer that if you go too hard you might mar the surface. So as you can see, we got it off, but we wore a little paint off the rivet line. Hopefully, we can cover that with the decals. Not as good as I thought it was going to come out. Kind of makes me wonder wonder about the N5B 
how good we're going to do with that because it's got a lot of rivets in it. I'm going to let that set. Let's try the uh, N the uh, N21 class. That's done by Walthers. Let me see if this is any easier or to get off. Because I don't know if they use a different paint process than Atlas or not. Because those other twos are uh, two are Atlas. Well, I came up pretty good. Let's go for the. Uh, oh, I gotta go for the numbers. That just melted off. That is great. Just gotta get this two. Still got a lot of toothpaste on it, but I got the, the quality graphic off and I got the numbers off without touching the Conrail or the Coats uh, diagram. Awesome. Let's do the other side real quick. Done. Perfect. Let's get this other one cleaned up. Take these over to the wash them off before I get started on the others. It's these Atlas cars, boy, they I don't know what they do in their process different than everybody else, but the letters just stick around. They're so hard to get off. Okay, so there we go. The Walters car. Um yeah, that's that came off really easy. Um, actually, the little, this one here, the little uh, N5B, which I was really worried about, it was actually one of the easier ones to do. This um, NE6 class was a little difficult, just getting it going. I got a lot of water inside, it's going to take it down. And you can see I wore off some of the paint up there on the rivets. But this one came out really good. We'll be able to hide this with um, weathering. And that's just water there. And then um, this one. This one's looking pretty good. This came off really clean. So, all right. Uh, let me turn that light down so you can see that. There you go. A little better. See? All right. We'll let them dry up and we'll uh, get them cleaned up for decals. Okay, so I clean these up. They're ready for their decals. And dip them in and let them soak. There we go. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Covers up a lot of them little deficiencies. Let's see what we got over here. Let's see how we pull off this one. See if we can do this other little one here. I gotta go to work. If I be, we're gonna restrict it. Put the uh, R for restricting on it.
perfect. Look at that. It is like a perfect match for that font. Just gotta get it to sit right. Right there. Look at that. That's cool. Just over. All right, there we go. We're going to microsoft, we'll let it set and dry. Then we'll seal them in. All right, so our caboose is uh, the decals have all set up. They've been sitting for about uh, about a day now. I hit them all with some microsoft, so they all stuck down pretty good. Um, you can see they came out really well. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, like how the uh, the restricted came out on the on this one here. So uh, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put a little sealant on it, try to um, to uh, protect that decal. I'm gonna try something different. Um, I'm gonna use a clear flat with a brush. Let's see how that works. Um, one of the uh, hopper cars that we did last time, when I sprayed them, the the whole car got really shiny. It was hard to cover up. So I want to try this and see if this is easier, just so it's more controlled and it's just the decal and not the whole car. So I'm going to take a nice soft brush, I'm going to load it up with some uh, Model, Model Flex Clear Flat, and I'm just going to brush it on nice and thin, not too thick. Make sure you get it on thin so there's no bubbles because you don't want to see that. And all we're doing is just putting a little, a little coating on just to protect the edges of the decal so it doesn't get uh, ruined. And on this one we'll do the same over the Conrail logo and that R that we put on there. Put a little bit there. Okay. Put that over there. And the N21 class came out really good. I had to break up the numbers, so each one of those numbers is individually applied. Uh, wasn't that fun. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to hit record on the camera, so you guys didn't get to see that fun. A little bit in there. All right, so we'll let the uh, we'll let this clear flat set up, and uh, we'll put some weathering on it. Okay, so our sealant is set up on the decals. I'm going to come in here. We're going to do a little uh, airbrushing for the weathering. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Let's do a little, uh, little spray.
okay everyone so there you go that's how we did it um uh, very happy with the outcome uh, you know use that new technique with the uh, toothpaste and eraser very happy with it um you know as long as you don't get impatient and push too hard and rub that paint off like i did on the at the ne6 class um it works really well so you know the cabooses uh or cabis or hacks or whatever you want to call them um you know i know that my model 1988 and i know that conrail stopped using the caboose in 1984 uh, but i still want to have them i like them they're iconic um and you know in local service conrail was still using them for shoving platforms or to for uh, protection at grade crossings so i wanted to have a few uh, so when i was doing my research for this project you know the book that i really re relied upon was this one here by uh larry de young he had a big section on cabooses and uh that's where i got the idea from the restricting the number with the r um also that's where i got a lot of reference photos for the ne6 class and how they just changed the uh the verbiage on the top you know from penn central to conrail so uh Overall, I don't. I didn't pick one specific prototype because I couldn't find prototype photos of the cars that I had. Uh, so I kind of just mixed and matched and kind of put it in, together again to give the overall flavor. And the N21 class, uh, I wanted to get that um, Conrail quality logo off of there, so and change the number. So because I have that same car with the lo quality logo and the number, but I wanted something different and and that's what I did to make it look different from the other one. Then we just put them in the, uh, the spray booth, gave them a good weathering with the airbrush, really happy with the outcome. And uh, so now we have some good running cabooses that are in Conrail colors and uh, yeah, couldn't be happier. All right, everyone, that's all I have for this time in the paint shop. If you're watching this video for the first time, please subscribe to our channel because I'm always producing content like this and uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, don't forget to check out our Facebook and Instagram accounts because I'm always posting daily updates. Otherwise, Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.